Hi everyone, this is Gap from Isus. This video is gonna show you how to create and deploy the backup task to your client. From here, you need to specify the contents of the backup. This drop down menu can help you add backup content. Please note that the last three items can be further modified after you select them. Like change drive C to drive D. And at the same time, you can also manually enter the path of the backup cotton to customize the backup source. As for the backup destination, you can simply give the direct storage path or configure the central storage location by browsing as what I'm stating now. The plan name and description are filled in according to your need. We offer five types of backup schedules. One-time backup, daily backup, The incremental, differential, for which method to use for this schedule can be also decided here. A weekly backup which running the backup at specific time on a week. Monthly backup. It's running the backup in the specific month and the scheduled time, which may be based on date or week. Upon event backup which including system startup, system shutdown, user logon, user log off. The backup cleanup option can automatically delete old image files under a specified rows. The three options in advanced settings will be more comprehensive to ensure that the scheduled backup you set will be executed and scheduled. Performance includes compression, priority, backup splitting and net transfer speed, encryption, to protect image with passwords. Please check enable backup encryption. The password should be less than 15 chapters. Email notification. With this option, user can simply know the backup result from a notification email. To better protect images, you may set offset copy. Images will be automatically duplicated to FTP with a completion of backup. File filter is to exclude unnecessary files and folders or just backup and edit file types. After the backup task created, please follow what I'm doing to deploy the backup task to your client. Here is the state before and after the deployment of the backup task on the console and client machines. That's all for today's video. I hope you have mastered how to deploy backup. If you have more questions and doubts, please feel free to contact us by the email address on the screen. Thanks for watching.